speaking about branding, you know, I, hate, I almost want to find another word to be honest with you, because I mean, how many times do you go to a conference right now and you'll hear the word about 1500 times? Right. You know what you need? I'll tell you, you need a <laughs> brand. That's what yep. you need, you know, but uh, but I mean, it is true, though. I mean, I, I think as an industry, we, we rely so much on our manufacturer's brand that as as a dealership, you know, we don't really necessarily take the time to develop out our own brand, but I also think the word is used so loosely. And I'm right. just kind of curious from the two of you, now, how do you guys define a business's brand? Like, what does that mean to you? Melanie, I'll start with you, and then Lori, I'll ask you the same question. Okay. I think a business's brand is the heartbeat of that business. I feel that it should resonate from the inside out. So whether that's the, the culture within the business or it is the services that the business is selling, they should all be intertwined as one holistic energy. No, it, it is. I, I find that the brand kind of has to, it's like connecting the dots. Right. Right. Do you guys, you guys ever do the, I was, I remember as a kid, we'd go on these like road trips and my parents would buy me these like books and it was like <laughs> just drawings of connecting the dots, you know, and it would take yep. like, hours to do so. And, and I feel like for, that's kind of what a brand does, you know, for, for companies, it kind of connects those dots. But I feel, and I will, Lori, of course, I want to get your thoughts on this too, sure. is for a lot of people out there, they think they define the brand. And, 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 and in my opinion is that the customer is actually what's defining the brand. It's how it's how you're being perceived as a business. Lori, what are, you, what are your thoughts and how do you define a brand? Yeah, I think that is such a good statement to make because I was going to also say, I mean, I think Melanie's absolutely correct. Your brand needs to go across every single area. However, I do think a brand, it, you have two different sides to brand, right? Which is what you're pretty much talking about. One is the way you're perceived by your customers. And that is actually your true brand. And then one is the brand that you can create inside the dealership. And the hope is that those two actually come together and connect. The reality is the majority of the time, what your customers think of as your brand and what you think of, of your brand are two very different things. And the other thing I would say is for a brand, you can definitely cultivate it. It's very important to create it, but it needs to come from the personality of usually the leadership team. So you're going to want to try really hard when you're branding. Um, and I, I'm with you. I hate the word branding. It, it truly should just be like, uh, I don't know. We need to come up with a different word, like your the personality of your company, right? Because it truly is like, what is the personality of your company? And that comes down from your management team. So I think a brand is absolutely something you can create and cultivate. But if you if you ask the question, what is your brand? And someone doesn't know, you do have a brand. You're just not in control of it. <laughs> so your question, Jason, reminds me of a post that you had put yesterday on LinkedIn. So you had put this post on LinkedIn about a Lexus dealership and how someone who you knew went to a Lexus dealership and they received some items after the sale and they were so was happy with their experience. Yeah, it was, it yeah. was, it was, it was a blanket. They received a blanket <laughs> and they were really happy with their experience. And um, it, it's within the Lexus brand, so to speak, from Mr. Toyota all the way down the culture of the Japanese people is interweaved within the brand. And until I started working for a group that had a Lexus dealership, I didn't necessarily understand it. And what your friend had experienced is what in the Japanese culture, it's a form of hospitality and it's called Omotenashi. And so Omotenashi, and this is how celebrity basically, you know, handles all the guests, all the employees is that you want, to make sure that everybody feels like they are a guest in your own home and everyone is treated well when they walk through the door. And so that is a big part of the brand. And I think that within the car business, the manufacturers are also a part of the brand and the, you know, the retail franchise stores 
also they're all kind of entangled together with the one brand. But the guest experience and the employee experience should be very consistent in terms of how they are treated. And it's something that we all hear about dealerships across the country. Well, this dealership is a great dealership to work for and this one isn't. And and it shouldn't be that way. It should be, they're all great places to work and it's a great industry to work in. (laughs) And that's all part of that brand or package that you receive. 